Hello folks, uh, so in this video I am going to continue to the previous video where we have uh, you know uh, written down certain code statements till uh, splitting the data sets. Now next uh, part is to uh, basically fit the multiple linear regression model. So let me create an object for this multiple linear regression model. I will use linear regression only here. Only difference is that we will be uh, basically provided. We have basically provided the multiple columns for multiple linear regression. So you remember the four columns we have included in X. That's the thing. So here we will say regression dot fit. Okay, and then we will take the training data set values. Okay, X train and Y train. <coughs> Okay, because this is a supervised learning algorithm uh, technique, so we have included both X and Y because uh, this particular model will learn from the Y values. Okay, X, both X and Y values. So for X, what is the profit and all that stuff? So it will learn based on the supervised learning method, based on supervised learning uh, methodology, and then we in the <clears throat> prediction part we are going to exclude this x oh sorry y value okay so the model will predict this y value in the prediction right now it is learning from uh, the data given the x values and the y profit values and then later on we will be predicting the y values by giving the x values okay so this is fitting the model right um, now Okay, so let's run this cell force. Hopefully, it should not create any problem. Okay, so this is we have given we have actually taken the default values here. Um, uh, we haven't done any hyperparameter tuning, so this is the default values. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me, and uh, let's see. Uh, uh, I mean, how much is the uh, R square value. So R square is nothing but uh, you know is a metric to measure uh, the performance, not the performance. In fact, uh, the accuracy. I would say accuracy is uh, majorly prevalent in the classification techniques, but there has to be some evaluation technique based on which we say that okay, our model is uh, you know acceptable model and it is a satisfactory model. So. For linear regression, we use R square or adjusted R square values for evaluation purpose. Here I'm using R square values. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's uh, R2, R core. Okay. Here. So let's see how our model is. Uh, you know, how much satisfactory is our model? So why? underscore test and oh, before uh, this uh, first of all I need to actually run the prediction as well right so why I need to find out the predictive value so y pred equals to or predictive value is equals to regression dot predict so we use the predict function a method for predicting the values and on which values we are predicting we are predicting on x text okay so we have produced so we trained our model based on x train and y train now we are predicting the values based on x test okay so let's run this and let's find out how our model is behaving perfect we can see that our model is giving a 93 percent satisfaction uh, score okay so that means out of 100 times our model will predict the values uh, out of 100 times 93 times it will predict the right values and seven times it will predict the wrong values fairly good model here uh, so let's Compare the uh, test values, y test values, and the predictive values side by side. Okay, so that way we will be able to see like how our model is 
performing so uh, in this case what, what we will do is df equals to pd we'll create a data frame here first okay so data frame based on the data which data this is the variable which holds our uh, uh, you know the 50 startups data so y test and then columns equals to y test okay and then we will say df <coughs> y fred equals to y fred and then we will see the df values <coughs> okay now we can see or compare the predicted and the actual value so these are the actual values which were given in our data set right so here you can see that you can see that 103 so it basically has taken by randomly he it has taken the values so y test is nothing but the profit values 10 profit values because I told you right we have taken only 20% of data uh, in uh, testing data set so that's why it is showing 10 values so these are the actual values y test and these are the predicted values which we predicted here yes. right now you can see that this model is fairly working fine see the actual value here in this case was $103,282 and the model is pretty closely predicted the value $103,015 so it is uh, short by just few dollar amounts same here the for it predicted 14 uh, 144,259 and the predictive value was 132,582 if we see the values here down below we can see the actual value profit value was $110,352 and the model predicted the value 113,969 so it was fairly close the here in here also it is very much close the actual and the predictive values are very very close here same is the case with this one so model is working pretty much fine right now right so let me do one more thing here okay so suppose we want to uh, predict uh, the profit for a single observation okay how can we do it so in this case let us say I have selected a random data like uh, run data <clears throat> let us say one equals to uh, we'll say we'll store the values okay zero zero hundred forty five one two zero one eighty nine zero 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 one that is a seventy six five so you can see i have given six values here we have created i have created a list of six values why six values because i told you right if you see this uh, data frame the x values the first three observations are nothing but state which is in one hot, one hot encoded form. That means this represent the California state. I'll show you how. So California or California the in the one hot, hot encoded value, the first column represent the California state. This is Florida. This is New York. Okay. So because the value is here we have a California so that's why it is given one here and for other two zero right so let, that's why I have given California state and for the California I have kept one 
and for the Florida and New York, zero zero. This is my R and D spend. This is my uh, admin spend, and this is my marketing spend. Now these are in. Okay, so this is the uh, in the list form. I need to convert it into array. Okay, so rand data. Let me keep it rand data. So array. So I have come. I am converting into array. Ran data. Okay. So now I've converted into matrix. Oh, okay. Or array. Now this array is actually in uh, this array. The values are stored in the structure uh, string form. So basically, I need to convert it into numeric values. Okay. So what I can do is ran data num equals to uh, so these are stored in the, some string form i would just need to convert it into or reshape into <coughs> numeric values okay one and so on okay and now what i'm going to do is i will be predicting the single observation single I would say record okay single row or I can say single row okay so here I can again do regression dot predict because my object is regression here right similarly like like this I, the things I have done here regression dot predict same thing but for here we we had multiple rows 10 rows basically i'm here i'm doing it for uh, one observation only okay because most of the time you try to predict the single observation only and let's round off this value basically whatever is the outcome i'm just rounding off this value okay so float y rad um basically red single row okay. and two significant points. okay so list object has no attribute reshape hmm. so what have i done here Oh yeah. And P dot array. <laughs> I was telling to convert it into array, but I didn't the in, I didn't include the code for it. So np dot array. So now we can see that the predictive value is one sixty seven thousand four hundred seventy four dollars seventy nine cents for this particular row of data. So if I have a uh, a company startup company which is located in california and which has a r&d spend of this administration spend of this much amount and marketing spend of this much amount then it is going to give a profit of this particular dollar amount 164 cents okay so next i'm going to uh, basically save this model uh, because uh, we are going to use that saved model in our uh, machine learning uh, sorry flask web app so in flask web app uh, we cannot uh, you know write all these uh, statements so for that purpose we have to uh, i mean we can write but it will take a lot of time while calculating all this stuff right because step by step if it it will execute all these statements then definitely it will take a lot of time so what we do is we just save this model okay so that it won't execute all these steps it will just load the model itself and then from there it will do the predictions so in the next video i'm just going to save this model or serialize this model uh, and we will use that saved model into web app while loading the browser okay 
so for, uh, right now i'm just stopping this video and next video will cover that so thank you keep on watching